In this week's Master in a Minute, I'm going to show you how to configure the workspace or customize it in InDesign. You can also do this in Photoshop and Illustrator and Quark Express has a way to customize your workspace also. By default, these are the panels that load right here in InDesign. You can open up the menus, you can move these panels around, you can do whatever you like, but how do you get it to come back the way you want it to every single time, especially if you're in a pre-press environment and you may have your workspace set up and you come in the next day and there's pallets moved all over the place, items are left on the desktop, just not a very happy situation. Well, once you get your desktop the way you want it and get everything set up, you have the ability to actually save your desktop and to do this, you select Window, Workspace, save workspace and for this particular one since it's really messy I'm just gonna call this messy and select OK so let's go back to the default workspace and this is what we started out with suppose we want that messy workspace back workspace messy and there it is and all your panels are exactly where you left them I like to work this way why? Because I can. And that's how you customize your workspace in InDesign and you've just mastered it in a minute.